Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda and today I'm going to be sharing with you my meal prep. Um, this is what I do for my weekday meals. For those of you that don't know, I am a doctor in the UK and this meal prep is for the for like a normal working week for me, my husband and my one-year-old daughter. Um, the price, basically I don't cook in the, on weekdays. I try and do all my meal prep on the weekend so that on the weekdays when we come in and everything's really hectic and busy, I can just whip it out of the fridge or my husband can and we just heat it up and we get down to eating. Um, and that way we actually ha get to have a bit more time in the evenings and everyone gets to bed at a reasonable time, I hope. But um, so basically the first step, there's quite a few steps that go into my meal prep and the first bit is planning. So usually on, let's say a Tuesday or a Wednesday, I'll sit down with my husband and we'll, um, I sometimes do it by myself as well, but we'll come up with what meals we want to have for the week. And the first, the first thing to do is actually look at what we've got in our fridge, in our cupboards, in our freezer already, so that we're not just buying surplus or we're not wasting food. Um, and then make a list of the meals that we're going to make and then we make a shopping list and we either do our online shop or we pop to the supermarket on a Thursday or a Friday. And this right here is our little command centre and this bit is like our diary where we put down like what we've got on this week. Me and my father are actually quite busy this week considering it's lockdown, but usually it's about to have like classes and swimming and stuff, but you know, lockdown she just chills out with us or goes to nursery. But up here is the important bit and this is our weekly meals. And so whoever gets home first, we know what we're having because it's already up here. So um, on Monday, we're gonna be having a salmon tikka masala, Tuesday, a veggie shepherd's pie, Wednesday, jerk chicken, like bakes in the oven, so it's not really jerk, but jerk chicken and cauliflower rice. And then on Thursday, we're gonna have sausages and brown rice. Friday is usually like one of those free days. I'm off on a Friday. I use you the food shop, so we either just like rust something up or we have leftovers. And then Saturdays, we usually go to my parents. And actually this is, so today's a Saturday. And so, um, because I buy things on a Friday, this is for next week, and this is like the weekend already gone. So this is what we did today. I went to my parents and I made alusak, so it's like a little potato and spinach curry. And then on Sundays, we usually just have leftovers because there's so much food that we eat on, on Sabbaths, on Saturdays. There's a lot of food, so we usually have leftovers on Sunday and get a takeaway because I'm not doing extra cooking. Um, but yeah, so it is a bit of a process. That step one is the planning. Step two comes on Saturday night where I just try and marinate any meats um, so that they're ready. And then I'll show you what I do on Sunday. But first of all, I'll take you over and show you what things I bought from the supermarket that I'll be using for this meal prep. And then we can, I'll show you me marinating the chicken and the salmon, I guess. But yeah, come along. Okay, so basically, I'll just, I don't need to do this, but I've taken out all of the food that I'm cooking. Um, in addition to this is like peppers and onions and garlic and ginger. But as I'm cooking the food, you'll see what other things I add. Um, and also like spices and herbs and stuff. But in general, this is what we have. So I've got a half salmon side that I'm going to take the skin off, wash and chop and marinate tonight. And then for this, it's really simple. Um, I do need to figure out how to make like curry paste and stuff, but I'm trying to make this simple and quick. I don't like to spend more than like an hour or two hours milk prepping to be honest. But this is um, Patak's tikka masala paste. So I'll just have a little jar of that. And then just add some coconut milk, some chopped tomatoes, some other things you'll see as I'm cooking, and some spinach. I've started using frozen spinach like last week or like two weeks ago. So I realised I'd always buy these massive bags of spinach, and sometimes you don't get through all of it. Whereas when I'm doing it just for cooking, if I want to use salads, obviously I'll buy the fresh stuff, but if I'm just cooking, there you go. And then I'm making a veggie shepherd's pie. I was going to do it without any meat substitute, just like mushrooms and stuff, and with lentils in it, but Raph didn't really, he wanted something else, like, like he wasn't feeling the lentils last time. So we compromised, we're using corn, mushrooms, um, mushrooms, carrots, some sweet corn, some um, fine beans that I'll chop up, and then potatoes and cheese for the top. Obviously like milk and butter and all that stuff, but you'll see as I cook. And then over here is for the, um, this is for the oven jerk chicken. I'm being really lazy again, 
I do need to do my own jerk paste and I will do it sometimes, but this is just like a quick cook. And so I've actually bought like a really big tray of chicken thighs. There's three, six, nine, there's 10 chicken thighs in here. And the reason I get so much is because if I can make a big batch, some of it can go in the freezer, helps for future weeks, especially when we're like really busy. Um, but basically it's really simple. This is, I just marinate it, put it in the oven, and then the cauliflower rice I make of the day, it only takes like five, 10 minutes. And I think you've seen it on one of my previous day in the lives. And um, if you've not, like I'll link back to it, I guess. Um, so yeah, so this is the chicken thighs. Um, and in the marinade, yeah, it's the jerk seasoning, but I also add some pepper, some honey, and some ketchup. And then over here, we have um, the sausages that I'm gonna make. So they're just uh, sage and onion sausages from Tesco. Chicken, sorry, chicken, sage and onion sausages from Tesco. I don't eat pork, so this is what I usually get. I do also like the caramelized onion sausages, from chicken sausages, no. It's turkey and caramelized onion sausages from Asda. Those are pretty good as well. But I'll cook those up and um, I'll show you how I do that. And then brown rice. Usually I like the basmati brown rice, but I couldn't find any in Tesco. So we bought the easy cook one. And when I make brown rice, it's gonna go, it's gonna be for the sausages, but also for the salmon. And I usually cook it in coconut milk and some chicken stock. And yeah, that's our four meals. This is what we're gonna be using with a few little extras. But now let's get down to um, marinating the chicken and the salmon, and then we'll start up again. To Okay, so this is my little um, marinating and washing meat and fish station, I guess. I know it's a bit controversial for some people washing their meat. Um, I had a debate once at work with one of the other doctors about why you shouldn't wash your meat, but I've grown up washing my meat. I think you should do it. Um, the argument not to wash it, I think, is that bits of like chicken juice can splash everywhere and gets, get you unwell. But you just wash afterwards, like, I've got bleach and Dettol out ready, I just wash everywhere. And I don't like have any, like, bottles or cutlery or plates out for it to splash on. So I like to wash it. But first of all, I skin the salmon. Oh, if you're, you know what, if you're vegetarian or vegan or you're, like, bothered by raw meat, don't watch this bit. But I'm sure you wouldn't be watching this video if that bothered you. But, um, yeah, so I have... Um, skinned and chopped up the salmon. It needs to be washed, which I'll do after the chicken. Um, the salmon's gonna go in here to marinate. This is my meat mixing bowl. <laughs> so if I'm marinating a lot of meat, I put it in a mixing bowl rather than a small container. This only gets used to meat. I do not like make cakes or anything in there. That's just the packaging. And then for the chicken, um, I'm gonna take the skin off, but basically I wash it in warm water with lemon and vinegar. Um, yeah, and then I'll show you when I've marinated it. Okay, so that's what I do on a Saturday night, done. Stuff I'm marinated, so the salmon, chopped into chunks, and I just use some coriander leaf, um, mild curry powder, a bit of black pepper, and some sea salt. Just need to mix it up a little bit. And then for the chicken, super lazy jerk chicken, I guess, um, but some ketchup, all pep seasoning, jerk um, seasoning, the jerk paste, and some honey. And I've already like cleaned up and decontaminated and stuff, the sink and all that area. I just need to do the sides now that I've finished this. But into the fridge and then I'll show you what I do on a Sunday. Okay. Hi guys, I'm back. So it's Sunday lunchtime. Um, and this is like stage three of the meal prep, I guess. And Isabella's down for a nap. And when she gets up anyway, Raph's gonna look after her. But I'm just doing a little bit of prepping now so that this evening when I actually do the full meal prep, meal prep the last stage of the process, I don't have to do the really annoying bits, which is like chopping up everything. So um, I'm actually at the moment, I've got some potatoes boiling for the shepherd's pie and some brown rice cooking. So we're going to have brown rice this week. And oh, I'll just tell you though, for the brown rice, I used um, like a tin of coconut milk and a North stock pot and some black pepper and salt. So what I do is I make sure that the water is like up to here above the rice, or the liquids of the coconut milk and water is up to here above the rice. And then um, I put it on a high heat with the lid off until it starts bubbling and the stock pot all melts and everything. And then I put it on to like the lowest heat I can and just let it steam with the lid on. Um, and then 
over here is just all like my little veggies chopped up. So um, for the salmon curry, the shepherd's pie and hmm, the sausages. I'm trying to think what I'm making. Yeah, and that's it. For those three, that's what I'm using. This is just some onions and peppers. And then for the shepherd's pie, it's just full of veggies really. So mushrooms, carrots, and green beans. It's quite a few green beans in there. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna put that all in the fridge, wait until these two finish cooking, and then I'll start up again tonight after Isabella's gone to bed. So just hopping back on real quick, um, excuse the mess around the pot, but basically I finished off the potatoes and just mashed them up with some cheese and milk and a bit of margarine and some black pepper. And that's for the shepherd's pie later. And then this is the, the rice all done. But yeah, I'm gonna go chill out now. Right, so it's Sunday night. What time is it? It's 20 to eight and Isabella's asleep. And so I wanna do the final bit of the meal prep, the actual cooking. Um, I'm just gonna record what I'm doing and try and do a bit of a voiceover so you can see what um, what's going on. Basically, because I'm watching Netflix on my iPad over there and I don't really wanna stop it. Um, but my, our takeaway is coming in a minute actually. So there was gonna be like a bit of a pause, but I'll tell you how long it all takes me. Um, I'm hoping that I'm all done by like nine o'clock the latest. So come along. Um, but first things first, um, so the chicken just needs to go in the oven. So I'm just gonna cover it over with some foil. And the oven's on about 200 degrees Celsius. And it's a fan oven. And I think I'll probably leave it in there like 30 to 40 minutes. I'm not, I'm terrible with timings, but I keep checking it and then when it looks done, I take it out, but I'll tell you how long I kept it in there. Okay. And the first thing that I need to get on the stove is what's gonna take the longest, and that is the shepherd's pie, because it has like raw carrots and vegetables in there that all need to soften and cook down. And then um, the salmon curry and the sausages, they both take about the same amount of time. So I'll just, taking time. So I'll just do one of them, I'm not sure which one first. Um, but yeah, so shepherd's pie. As you can see here, I like to do um, the things separately. So mushrooms, I don't feel like you can just throw them in the pan. Um, so I just saute them a little bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper until they cook down nicely, as you can see there. Um, yeah, and then once those are done, I just move them out of the pot and, you know, bob them into their own container. And then I like to actually cook the mince as well because um, I feel like all these veggie mints and stuff, they need to be flavour, needs to be added to them. And so I usually just saute down the veggie mints with um, some all-purpose seasoning and a little bit of lazy garlic. I actually use... Um, so. I usually like, a lot of the time I chop up my garlic, but sometimes when I'm cooking lots, I just use like a tube of the garlic, and um, it's just easier. And so there you can see, I'm just squaring it in, along with some mixed herbs, and that's just to give it a bit of flavor. And then I'll just move that into its own pot as well, into its own container until I'm ready. And then next, adding back some more oil. I need to cook with less oil, I'm working on it. Um, but that's just the peppers and onions going in there, letting them saute down and adding some more garlic because, you know, you can't have enough garlic. And then in go the veg, that's the carrot and green beans and a bit of tomato puree and just kind of move that all around. And then I add some water to it along with one of the North stock pots. You can use any kind, I just like to use the chicken one. Then I added some black pepper to it and just move that across and let that simmer. And then next I'm onto the salmon curry. Now I just like heat some oil in a pan and then put all the salmon pieces in there that were marinating from the day, from the day before, yeah? And yeah, I think actually before I start the salmon, that's when the takeaway came. And so I let the, um, the stuff kind of just simmer away there for the shepherd's pie and then when I came back that's when I moved it over and as you can see I'm just adding back in the mushrooms and the mint and just letting that cook down a bit more and the salmon you don't want to leave it on the stove for too long so I just kind of let it brown on all sides and then I take it out and now I'm adding the onions and peppers for the salmon and as you can see I'm trying to work the two pots at the same time 
So yeah, into the salmon curry though, I don't just put in garlic, I also use some lazy ginger as well. And so I did a big squirt of ginger, big squirt of garlic, added in some garam masala and some cumin, and then let those cook down a little bit. Then I added in the patak tikka masala paste, some chopped tomatoes, and a tin of coconut milk. And then I put in two balls of the um, frozen spinach. I'm just gonna move that over to the back and let that cook down and let the spinach kind of melt away and the sauce all you know, cook together. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I added to the mint some Liam Perry's. Um, I don't know what else I added to it. Yeah, some Liam Perry's. I might have put a little bit of sugar in there as well. Usually I put like chili flakes into everything, but now Isabella, she eats with us. So we've got to kind of dial back on the chili. But yeah, so that was shepherd's pie um, bit done. So I've just moved it over into its little oven dish. Keep checking on the curry sauce. And that's the mashed potato I made earlier that day. I'm just adding that to the top of the shepherd's pie. You guys know how a shepherd's pie is made. <laughs> and yeah, that's done. And then I think I'm just gonna sprinkle it with some cheese and throw it in the oven. But as you can see, the chicken is done now. It was in the oven for about 40 minutes. Um, looking piping hot and juicy and yeah just putting the shepherd's pie into the oven now and moving the chicken over into its own little container now you don't want to forget the juices we're not going to be throwing them away so I'm just trying to get it all out of the pot and just pouring that over the chicken there you go tasty and so that's two out of the four dishes done and as you can see, I just added um, the salmon into the curry. That's all like cooked down really nicely. I'm pretty sure I added a bit of um, sugar as well to the curry. And whilst that just cooks down a little bit because the salmon, it still had the center of it wasn't quite cooked through. So I just let that go and now it's done into the pot. And then onto the final dish, which is the sausages. So I just throw them into the frying pan with a bit of oil and some all-purpose seasoning, let them brown a bit, and then I add the peppers and the onions, a tin of chopped tomatoes, and just kind of let that all simmer and cook down nicely. And then for the gravy, I just use, again, a North Stop Pot, the chicken one, and I add in the some reggae reggae sauce into it, with along with a little bit of corn, um, what's it called? A little bit of corn, flour as well just thicken it and that's it done there you go okay and this is the last um dish it's done now and so i'm just going to pack everything away and tidy up um and it's seven minutes past nine which i think is pretty good since i was filming at the same time and i stopped to have a takeaway it's taking me about an hour and a half and that's it guys all done um tidied up it's 20 past nine and I'm ready to go to bed and get ready for the work week. Um, but yeah, so we've got the sausages, the salmon curry, some baked jerked chicken, brown rice to go with the sausages and curry. We're going to do cauliflower rice during the week for the jerk chicken and then the shepherd's pie. As you can see, I don't know how to make small portions of anything. So we always have to so sorry about that, my battery died in the camera, but like I was saying, I don't know how to make small portions, so we all have, always have leftovers, and I'm pretty sure a load of the chicken went into the freezer, and the shepherd's pie, there's probably about like a third left of it. But that was us for the week. Um, I hope that this is a bit of, I don't know, meal inspiration, and if you're not meal prepping, what are you doing? Now, I spent about an hour and a half that night cooking and a little bit of time like 20 minutes on Saturday night and 20 minutes on Sunday in the day just getting the food ready and now I don't have to cook for the rest of the week and we just come home whip it out the fridge put it in the microwave and we're ready to go but thanks for watching guys have a good week see you and if you haven't subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you like the video please like it and let me know if you want me to do more or if you want any recipe videos as well because I can definitely get that to you take care